and welcome back to my channel. Third part to this little mini series and I will be sure, like I said, to get up to you more information about each one of these topics. But for now, I think that the last little bit of information that I think is going to be pertinent to everybody is our nutrition, right? And everybody trying to figure out how I'm gonna make that money stretch when it comes to food. And I can tell you this, where I feel like it matters the most is going to be in my nutrition and my supplements and how I save money there. Now, I wanna talk about a few key items that I feel like I've done since I've lived out on my own, since I've been in college and trying to save money. And this has been one of the ways, other than the basics on, I drink a crap ton of water, always, always container of water. I try my best to get between six and eight hours of sleep. And really, I live an active lifestyle and I eat decent as far as fruits and vegetables and blah, 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 right? So the way that I supplement, especially as I've gotten older and I've noticed that after 25, the body doesn't readily respond as well or heal itself as fast or produce at the metabolic rate that it was before it was 25. So the ways that I have saved money with nutrition have been first and foremost, bulk making your cold brew teas and your cold brew coffees. Done, right? And I'm telling you probably one of the easiest ways that I've saved money has been just everybody's caffeine addiction, right? Either you're a coffee or a tea drinker or you're like me or both. You tend to go back and forth between lattes and splurging and possibly making your teas on a regular basis but i can tell you man i more often than not opt to not go get a latte unless it's a social experience or i'm working all day and i don't have the means to make it myself because i'm literally time i, I don't have which is probably the only reason why people do this i pre-cook and or pre-make all of my teas and my coffees. And this is such a great tool that I've had for years that I've been able to utilize in times where I just wanted to save five bucks a day, guys, five dollars a day. I have been able to buy bulk of my sugar-free syrups or my stevia packets and my cinnamon and I do vanilla extracts. I mean, I get fancy with it, okay? But I make it all at home and I bulk make it and I stick it in the fridge and it goes through in about a week to two weeks and I'm telling you, I save so much money this way. One of the other things that I can't stress enough is with my supplements. The green powder that I will show you. There you go. The other supplements that I use for my hair, skin, and nails are all gonna be other things that I can't tell you how important they are to the nutrients factor of what, you know, the money that I save. I try to get my fruits and veggies in, but I'm telling you one of the ways that I've been able to boost having my hair grow faster or my skin heal itself faster from say a breakout or a sunburn is been to take both my greens superfood powder every day. All this paired with lysine, which is an amazing amino acid for hair, skin, and nails, biotin, obviously, and then my fish oil for all good fatty acids to help with you know, the basics of your protein structures to grow because the collagen and the nice squishy amino acids to our, our girthy you know, hair and nails and skin and all of that, all the building blocks are amino acids. And so if you're not producing as much as we get older, you're really gonna start wanting to fundamentally invest in these key things. Because if you were watching any of my videos prior, what we do on top, we must do internally as well. And this, so if we're investing $300 in a moisturizer that has mineral oil in it, cough, La Mer, cough. We, need to be understanding where we can save money on on the the right kinds of supplements or ingredients that we're putting internally as well because just like we don't want to buy garbage processed food that has no nutrients in it we don't want to buy any sort of moisturizer that has a garbage cheap filler 
right, as it's moisturizer, kind of like petroleum jelly or mineral oil. So the one crucial thing that I can't stress enough is how I have been able to keep my hair, my skin, and my nails, everything, like just staying in the 20s, right? And I'm, I'm getting into 30s and I'm still producing at the same rate. And it's because I am supplementing with a hair supplement, you know, pill structure thing that I use every day and then a skin and metabolism one that I use with my greens powder and my, um, my other list of supplements. And that list is every day. Last and final thing that I have to say about how I save money with nutrition is going to be pre-cooking my food. Now, this seems to be a no-brainer. Most people in the fitness and or busy lifestyle world with kids or school or whatnot, they pre-cook and they actually have tons of resources for this to just bulk cook your rice, big line cook your, your meats or your protein, and big line cook your veggies and pre-cook out and pre-package your eggs and fruits and nuts and all kinds of stuff. I'm telling you that's from the beginning of college when I can help it and I've gotten better over the years and I've been able to stay leaner. I've been able to save money at least every month by just not eating out and by going through the food that I buy, not throwing a half of it away because it goes bad because I don't incentivize myself to cook all of it, pre-portion it out so that when it comes time for me to eat again, because we're gonna have to eat again and again and again and again and again. And again, so why not get on top of it? At least spend an hour a week, just just dedicate an hour a week, even if it's not cooking for the entire month, because I know that that seems to be a lot bigger on a grander scale, but what you find is that you cook less throughout the month when you bulk cook every single week you spend an hour. You actually, in your hours, when you collect them up, you spend less over time by doing it this way. And so depending on your schedule, depending on your household, I know that this isn't as easy for some people, but when I bulk cook rice, pasta, any sort of super chili or you know stew or anything, I do overnight oats, which there are fun videos on YouTube on that. Keep watching and scrolling the internet for, um, I ain't gonna tell you everything, gosh. God everything myself but you know rolled oats or overnight oats that's a thing and making sure that you pre-portion out all of your fats and your fruits and vegetables and your nuts and all that junk as well so one of the crucial steps that I know to even just the fitness world is is a no-brainer is you know pre-cooking your nutrition out ahead of time but for saving money oh god if you can just get over it, like get over the fact that you're gonna eat the same thing for pretty much 80% of your meals. Get over it, everybody says it. Just to get through two out of the three meals and a couple of snacks that I do a day that are pre-portioned, pre pre-cooked, and not they don't have to be bland, but they doesn't matter how seasoned and tasty they are. By day five, I'm like, I want cheese or I want something different, right? And so for the most part, if you can just suck that up, 20% or 30% of your diet can be the fun stuff that you spend a little bit more on that you can, if you can afford it, you can have at the ready, you know, for your SOS emergency. I can't deal with eating the same crap that I made all throughout the week, right? That's fine, totally fine. If you wanna break it up to one every other day, no biggie either there as well. But I'm telling you, between pre-making in bulk my teas and my coffees, by having a fat burner supplement concoction with my pat my green smoothie powders and all of my supplements that I use for both energy and metabolism as well as my hair, skin and nail stuff and then pre-cooking out all of my food for the most part. Those are it. Those are the three things. They're just three basics on my nutrition, on my caffeine addiction and my basic food that I need to nourish my body. That's the, uh, Those are the three biggest lifestyle differences that I have forced myself in the 12 year, uh, am I doing the math on that right? 18, yeah. So since becoming an adult at 18, I will be 30 this year. And in the 12 years I've lived on my own as an adult, I can say that holy mother of God, I have could have and have seen people spend 
three to five times as much money as I have just by not pre-cooking out their food and or not liking eating the same thing for three fifths of their week or five sevenths or four sevenths. Just some people don't do leftovers past a day. Like, what is that? Eat your leftovers, eat them. Bulk, bulk make stuff that you like, like spaghetti and maybe stagger it out. Maybe make two meals and then, you know, get a little garden variety in there. Or like I said, I, I go back and forth between eggs on toast and oatmeal that are pre soaked overnight with a bunch of stuff in there. And there's tons of videos online on that too. Even on Buzzfeed Pasty on Instagram, shout out. Get on there and see all of the different ways that they do pre-cooking and their ideas on old, uh, the overnight oats because I'm telling you, you can make it creative if you just spend that pre-planned out, write out your menu from videos and inspiration that you see online, write out your menu, go to the grocery store based on your menu, pre-cook, spend an hour to two hours a week and I promise you, in give it two, three months, you are going to save so, so much money on your food and your supplements. If you can just suck up, not go in and get in your Starbucks every day, and you can suck up eating 80 to seven, hell, let's start out with 60 to 80% of your meals being the same couple of meals that you pre-made for your week. Let's just start there. Why not find your favorites, pre-cook them ahead of time, save yourself the hassle of going out um, because, oh, guess what, we can't right now. So we might save all kinds of money anyway just by pre-cooking and bulk cooking our stuff in advance. But it's also one of those really great ways that you can get in touch with what you like and what you don't like. You know, things like tacos and things like soups and ramens and yummy stuff that you can just get creative with or oats, overnight oats that you can make tons of different ways. Those are all things that are staples in my regiment always. And I can tell you, ugh, they save me so much money and hassle and thinking about making decisions on food. Done, easy life hack. I hope I've delivered some sort of bit of knowledge to you. But if you wanna know more in nutrition information, I will be here, leave info or questions or any sort of feedback in the box below if you have it. And thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I will be bringing to you some more fun tutorials on makeup here shortly, but I wanted to get out to you my fundamentals on how to save money. And if you guys wanna know more about these topics or other ways that I save money, please feel free to leave your feedback and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you again, and I'll see you around. Bye.